Who's ready for Monster Jam? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today, after a long while, we have another Spitmaster unboxing and review. This time it is Series 29. It took me a while to complete this assortment, but uh, the Chase Piece Glaze Machine is here, so that is awesome. I've had these trucks in my room for quite some time. I've just been looking for that darn Chase Piece and I finally found it, which is awesome, but you know, a little late for that, I guess. But uh, here's the video for series 29. This is in, it's an all right, it's an all right mix. We do have like two or three good trucks in here. So that's awesome. And we're gonna take a look here at our first truck here that I'm, we're gonna start off with. And that is the Monster Mutt Dalmatian from series 29. Here are the trucks on the back. So there's Dalmatian. You have the Steel Reveal Soldier Fortune, the Lucas Oil Stabilizer for the first time. That's awesome. Axe, golly, we've been asking for Axe for a while and he's here. There's the Chase Piece Glaze Machine from the Monster Food Truck, whatever they're called. I forget the Chase Piece series. Uh, you have Green Ghost Gravedigger making its first appearance in the singles. The Phased Out Megalodon, El Toro Loco, and Mohawk Warrior. So we're going to start off the video with Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Then we're going to move on to number two with El Toro Loco from uh, Legacy Trucks. So there's El Toro Loco. Moving on, we have Mohawk Warrior. Is this Arena Favorites? Nope, Legacy Trucks again. Legacy Trucks, Mohawk Warrior. And then we have the Green Ghost Gravedigger. So that's really cool. And he's from Arena Favorites. Interesting. Moving on, we have the Steel Reveal Soldier Fortune. It's a really nice release. Steel Reveal? Yep. Steel Reveal Soldier Fortune. Then we have the Phased Out Megalodon, which looks pretty cool. Earthshaker is still my favorite. All right, God. Earthshaker turned out so good, but there's Megalodon for you. And then finally, the three big favorites. Axe is here. Golly, and what's better with one axe? Now we got ourselves a second one. So this one I'm gonna be keeping in package because who doesn't, I mean, who doesn't like Axe, you know? So Axe is finally here, along with the beautiful Lucas Oil Stabilizer, or Lucas Stabilizer. It's the Lucas Oil Stabilizer, come on now. So of course I had to get a second one, but uh, there it is, Lucas Oil Stabilizer. And we are gonna round out this video with the Chase Piece Glaze Machine from the Monster Feast series. Never mind. There you are, there's the Chase Piece. So, like I said, let's kick off this video with the Series 29 Monster Mod Dalmatian. The first truck of Series 29 is here. So, here is Monster Mod Dalmatian's card. We got the logo, then, I don't know, the copyrights and how to contact Spin Master information is there. And uh, here is Dalmatian. He rolls very well right out of the package. Monster Mutt Dalmatian is usually a very fast truck in my sign-up series, so keep that in mind if you choose this truck for a future one. It could be in contention for a, a uh, you know, becoming a champion. But here is the Series 29 Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Yet again, another normal release, but it is another variation with a specific tires, roll cage, and a chassis. So. Now let's do the in-depth graphics review here. So we have the Monster Jam logo along with the Monster Mutt logo with the dog tag or, uh, God, the dog collar, dog tags right there. <laughs> and then we got the, the teeth there and we got the driver in there. There's Jamie Sullivan absolutely killing it. Going up to the front of the truck, we have the tongue, the nose, the whisker holes, and then you can just see the Dalmatian fur all over this truck. The other side will be the exact same thing. And then on the back here, you have the tail, the Monster Mutt Dalmatian dog tag along with the ears because you know Dalmatians you know flying down the track so that's why the ears are you know up in the air like that and of course the eyebrows as well and uh this monster by Dalmatian is sitting on a red roll cage with a white chassis with uh, white rims with white BKT printing so there's another monster by Dalmatian if you're a fan of monster by Dalmatian I mean I would understand you would pick this truck up but I'm just collecting every truck that's in the singles packs. I used to, I wasn't like that before, but uh, I think I started doing it in like 2021 or something, but there you go. So there's Monster Mutt Dalmatian. That's gonna be number one. And uh, moving on to number two, which is the Black El Toro Loco. Another variation of the Black El Toro Loco. So we get El Toro Loco's logo, and then we already talked about that copyright, how to contact Spin Masters down there. Here's El Toro Loco. He rolls perfect right out of the package. That's the best feeling in the world right there. 
And uh, here's our little uh, 360 of this truck. It's another Black El Toro logo, but yet again, another specific variation of this truck. But uh, hey, if you're an El Toro Loco fan, I understand picking this truck up. But I mean, you know, if you're just a collector and you don't collect all the trucks, I would pass on this one. But you know, it is what it is. You do you. <laughs> all right, let's do our in-depth graphics review here. So. We have the Black El Toro Loco logo with the Monster Jam logo along with the flames, which um, look very good on this release. So kudos to Spin Master for that. Got, um, who do we got in there? We got Armando Castro killing it in the Black El Toro Loco. We have the teeth up there on the bulb. And uh, here's the front of the truck. Usually the chin hair is there, but you know, can't see it. And uh, up on the hood here, we got the nostrils, the nose ring with the uh, flames coming out of the nose. So that's cool. The other side will be the exact same thing. And then on the back here, we have the El Toro Loco, the MuscleJam.com logo with more flames. And uh, the taillights would be there. <laughs> and on the top of the truck, roof of the truck, we got the El Toro Loco horns. So that's awesome. El Toro Loco is sitting on a black roll cage with a gray chassis with uh, orange rims with white PKT printing. So there's this El Toro Loco. Just like uh, Monster Mind Dalmatian, yet again, another specific variation, but uh, there it is the Series 29 Black El Toro Loco. And let's move on to another variation of the Great Clip Mohawk Warrior. This is the third time in a row I'm saying another variation of another truck, but this time the Great Clip Mohawk Warrior. There's the logo for the truck and copyright, how to contact Spin Master, it's all down there. And here's El, to uh, El Toro Loco, really? <laughs> oh yeah, guys, El Toro Loco right here. Great Clip Mohawk Warrior is here. And it looks like he rolls pretty well right out of the package for the most part. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but there it is. Here's the little 360 of this truck. This variation of Mohawk Warrior is kind of clean. So I kind of dig it. That's why it's um, technically one of my favorites out of, you know, this entire assortment just from the two variants that we got, you know. All right, moving down here and let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck. We got the Great Clip Small Warrior logo right there with the actual dude in the uh, sunglasses. Golly, wonder what he's shouting. I don't know, might just be screaming. We got the Monster Jam logo and then you got the beautiful like purple flames in the background. You got Bryce Kenny up there killing it on the track. Going up to the front of the truck, you have the headlights, the grill printing, and on the roof, you got the Great Clips logo with the uh, purple flames once more time, or one more time. The other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back, you have the Great Clips, Mo uh, Great Clips logo along with Mohawk Warriors logo, and then the actual Mohawk on the roof of the truck. So he is sitting on a uh, purple roll cage with a gray chassis with purple rims and uh, no white PKT printing. So this version of Mohawk Warriors is actually pretty nice. I kind of like it. It's my second favorite variation that we got from this series. So there's Mohawk Warrior. And now let's move on to my favorite uh, variation of the Green Ghost Gravedigger. And to end the variations, we got Green Ghost Gravedigger. So, uh, here's the logo, Grave Digger's normal logo. We're all used to it by now, along with that. So I'm not even gonna talk about that. Uh, here's Grave Digger, and this Green Ghost rolls very well right out of the package. So keep that in mind if you're choosing this truck for a sign of series. Here it is, you guys, it's very bright on camera. Wow. It is just a bright truck in general with uh, the chassis and the rim, uh, rim choice. So uh, that's actually really cool. Cool little fun detail by Spin Master. And let's do an in-depth graphics review with another Grave Digger. This time the Green Ghost one. So we have the USHRE logo right there with the Grave Digger logo. We got the Green Ghost this time. Then you can see the green flames going along the graveyard. The Dennis Anderson one is right there. You got the haunted house with the tree, the moon, and like the purple spooky fog. That's, uh, you know, we're all used to it by now. And then we got uh, Tyler Meninga over there, you know, driving Grave Digger. So he's killing it as well. Going up to the front of the truck, you have Grave Digger's iconic red headlights. Who doesn't know that, you know? If you see those red headlights turn on um, during a Monster Gym show, you know you're in for it. And then you got the beautiful Green Ghost flame wrapping along the entire hood of the truck. The other side will be the exact same thing. Uh, you got nothing on the back, but on the roof, you have Green Ghost's iconic uh, skull and crossbones with the bad to the bone as well. So that's cool. And Green Ghost is sitting on a black roll cage with a very nice, like, lime green chassis. It's very bright. Same color along with uh, the rims as well. We got no BKT printing. I wish there was because, you know, that would help this truck pop out even more. But nonetheless, a very clean variant of the very clean variant. Huh. 
of the green ghost there so that's awesome that's awesome all right now let's get into some quote unquote new trucks we got the steel reveal soldier fortune soldier fortune is here and let's take a look at him so we got the soldier fortune logo on his card and there's that i've already been went over that too many times now and uh, here is soldier fortune he rolls perfect right out of the package so that is wonderful and uh, here's the little 360 turnaround of soldier fortune i will say that the steel on the truck is kind of like a kind of like a matte color paint job so that's pretty cool anyways so there's soldier fortune and let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck all right we got the soldier fortune logo right there along with the monster gym logo the united states flag and um what is that a4 c1055 i do not know uh who do we got we got chad fortune driving soldier fortune you know uh, he's killing it on the track as well. Going up to the front of the truck, you have the uh, the grill printing right there. I believe the headlights would be right here if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. You just got the steel that's on the uh, hood of the truck. The other side will be the exact same thing. And then on the back, you have the tail lights with the Soldier Fortune logo. And then on the roof, if it was there, you would have the gun that was on the actual truck. But uh, Hot Wheels, uh, you know, stopped doing the gun in like, like 2017. Because the truck came out in 2016. In 2017, I didn't appear with a gun anymore. But uh, Soldier Fortune is sitting on a gray roll cage with uh, with like an army green chassis color. And it's got different rims, uh, different color rims. I don't even know what to classify that. I don't know. It's a weird green color for the rim choice. But uh, there is the Soldier Fortune from the Steel Reveal series. Pretty good. Pretty good if I do say so myself. And now, continuation of the Phased Out series featuring... Megalodon. Megalodon is here and he looks pretty good right off the bat, so that's pretty cool. We got Megalodon's logo right there, then the rest of the information. I'm not gonna go over it again. Here he is right off the bat. He does like to turn, so keep that in mind if you choose this truck for a sign up series. But uh Megalodon looks pretty good right off the bat. <laughs> uh, yeah, very nice, very cool release of Megalodon. I'm not used to, this phased out series is kind of cool, but golly, it's throwing me off. It's really trippy. <laughs> there you go. All right, in-depth graphics review time for Megalodon. So as you can see, we have the Monster Gem logo with the Megalodon logo. We have its two fins on each side. Um, you can just see how the decal, you know, is it like rendered or something? I think that's the word for it. I don't know. Who do we got driving Megalodon? I don't even remember some of the Megalodon drivers. Golly, we'll just say Corey Rummel. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. So there's Megalodon, or that side. Then you had the uh, the eyes with the teeth. Going up to the front, you got the nose as well. Just more of the decal there on the actual hood of the truck. The other side is the exact same thing. On the back, you got the back fin of the truck. You got another tiny little fin up top. And then you have the iconic top fin of a shark. You know, if you see that on a beach, golly, you better get out of there. It's as quick as you can. Megalodon is sitting on a black roll cage with a blue chassis. A very nice, like, bright blue chassis. We got our white rim. We got, like, a teal rim. We got, oh, a blue a blue tire with uh, kind of like that same uh, light uh, teal color rim. And then the same exact wheel as uh, this one right there. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay. Just had to double check there. So... There is the phased out Megalodon. I still I still think that Earthshaker is my favorite phased out truck. All right, we're finally moving on to the big three now. Golly, I'm so excited. Axe, it's about that time. I have personally been waiting for Axe for a long time as a Monster Jam fan, and it's finally here. So let's jump right into it. We got the Axe logo up there in his card. And uh, here is the actual Axe truck, golly. It's so cool to see this in person after so long. And he rolls perfect, so I don't know. Could be in future contention for uh, a sign of series championship truck. I don't know. But there is Axe, you guys. Wow. <laughs> I am in shock. This truck looks so good. On the whiplash casting, so that's interesting. But, you know, I can see it. I can vibe with it. I can vibe with it. And let's do our in-depth graphics review here. So... We got the Monster Jam logo along with the red axe. We got the uh, Cohen sponsor along with the axe logo with the two axes there. 
And then we got uh, Chris Kohler, you know, or Joe Foley, one of those two. They're killing it on with Axe. Uh, going up to the front of the truck, we have the headlights and grill printing there for the casting, along with the, um, that's not Axe's logo. We got like a firefighter there or like some pyro dude with the two axes that are actually on fire. So <laughs> that's funny. The other side will be the exact same thing. Oh, uh, you got nothing on the back. Actually, you know, you got some caution tape. Then up there on the roof, you have an awesome American flag. So that's really cool. Axe is sitting on a black roll cage with a gray chassis along with red rims. If they added the white PKT printing, golly, Axe would have looked 10 times better. But still, nonetheless, it is awesome to have this truck in the collection. Finally, as a Monster Jam diecast truck. So kudos to Spin Master for this. That is awesome. And uh, golly, got another good truck here. Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Wow. Just like with Axe, I've been waiting for this truck. Once it was announced, I knew Spin Master was gonna do a die cast. I didn't expect it this year. I expected next year in 2024, but golly, I'm so happy we got it this year. So there's the Lucas Oil Stabilizer logo on the, uh, the its card. So that's awesome. And here it is, you guys, Lucas Oil Stabilizer. He rolls perfectly right out of the package. He doesn't like to turn, so that's cool. But wow, I am in shock. This truck looks, God, outstanding. Wow. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it literally does. <laughs> I, I, I'm in disbelief here at the moment as a fan of this truck. Golly. All right, let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck. We got the Lucas Oil logo right there, Lucas Oil Products logo, along with the Monster Jam logo. We got the Lucas Oil Stabilizer logo, along with uh, the product information, how it's in Indianapolis. Uh, Cynthia Gautier is up there, um, along with Lindsey Reed. So that is awesome. You have the beautiful um, exhaust pipes here, whatever the specific name for it is, I don't know. This casting is just insane. Going up to the front of the truck, you have the headlights along with the grill printing. You have the Lucas Oil Products logo up there on the hood of the truck. Uh, the other side will be the exact same thing. On the back here, you have the It Works, which is cool. And then up here on the roof, you got some awesome red, white, and blue paint. You got the stars there along with the Lucas Oil logo right there. So Stabilizer is sitting on a gray roll cage with a black chassis, red rims as well. Just like with Axe, if they added the BKT printing, wow, this truck would have been 10 times better. I'm still in shock by how good Lucas Oil Stabilizer look, uh, looks. Wow, just just a beautiful truck. It, it's it, It's gotta be in everybody's top 10 for 2023. And we got the Chase Piece Glaze Machine, which is probably my favorite Chase Piece of the year. Just saying. Glaze Machine is here. And I can automatically tell you that he looks better than a swine and dash, in my opinion. But uh, there's the Glaze Machine logo. That looks pretty cool, actually. And then the rest of the card information. And here he is, you guys, the Glaze Machine. Wow. Just like with uh, swine and dash, he likes to turn. So keep that in mind. Here, let's see if he can do a save. Oh, did you see that? That was sick. Here, one more time. Oh, another good save, golly. I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> All right, so here is the glaze machine, the little 360 turnaround of this truck. I'm a really big fan of the, the food trucks for a chase piece. I think they look so cool. And I know some Monster Jam fans don't like how it's a, you know, a food truck themed for a chase piece, but I think they look awesome. And golly, this is a heavy truck along with uh, the metal ch uh, chassis, so, or roll cage, I should say. But let's do our in-depth graphics review here with Glaze Machine. Moving back over here. So, as you can see, we have the Glaze Machine logo with the donuts. You have uh, the Monster Jam logo with like the white frosting. You got the donuts in the background. Very, very cool. And do we have a driver in there? I don't know, it's really hard to tell, but this is a piece of plastic. Um, I know, it's kind of like tinted, so you can't really see through. But uh, going up to the front of the truck, you have the, uh, the lights along with the grill printing and uh, just more donuts up there with the huge windows, golly. You can kind of see through. Here, wait, you see my finger right there? Just moving up and down. <laughs> All right, the other side will be the exact, actually, no, we got a couple different versions of donuts here as I kick the camera, God. Glaze Machine logo, 
We have, uh, golly, I forget the specific name of these donuts, but whatever. More different donuts are there. <laughs> and uh, on the back of the truck, you just have more printing of donuts with the back headlights. So that's really cool. And then on, on the roof is even more donuts. Wow, golly. It's almost like this, uh, this truck is like donut themed or something, you know? And uh, let's see what we got here. Oh wow, look at that, that is awesome. So we have the Burnout, one for $3.99. We have the Muscle Gym Filled, six for 10. The Shine Glaze, 12 for 19. And the Gas Guzzler. So whichever one you would like, you, get, you can get one for $3.99, six for 10, or 12 for 19. So there you go. Um, I don't know, personally, the Burnout, uh, the Burnout sounds good along with the Gas Guzzler. Monster Jam Filled, I don't know about that one. But uh, there is Glaze Machine. He's sitting on the Chase Piece uh, metal uh, roll cage with a very nice blue chassis with some awesome donut themed uh, tires and rims. So that is wonderful. Golly, what a good way to end off Series 29. Like I said, this is probably my favorite Chase Piece truck of the year. I haven't gotten Wasabi Warrior yet, but um, Wasabi Warrior is probably up there as well. So guys, that will pretty much wrap it up for this unboxing of the Series 29 assortment. So make sure to crush that like button. If you guys like this video, why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free and you guys can always do it. We are on the road to 1100 subscribers right now. And also you guys can follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I'm gonna post. And you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign up series and points competitions. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to. The link for my Instagram is always down in my description. I highly encourage you guys to check out my description as I do post some key information in there from time to time. So, um, doing. Oh, oh did I do this the wrong way? Here we have. Boom, boom, boom. No, I did. Oh, whatever. Okay, so. There are all nine trucks from Series 29. As a quick recap, we have another variation of Monster Mutt Dalmatian, another variation of the uh, Black El Toro Loco, another variation of the Great Clip Small Hawk Warrior, another variation of the Green Ghost Grave Digger, we have the Steel Reveal Soldier Fortune, Phased Out Megalodon, Axe, Lucas Oil Stabilizer, and the Chase Piece Glaze Machine in the back. So, if I had to rate this series on like a one to 10, I'd say like a 7.3, 7.4. It wasn't too bad, but I'm telling you, these three trucks carried it for this series. A lot of variants in this one, which sucks, but there you guys go. So this is Monster Jam Fan 0311 catching you guys on the rails.